Tommy, congratulations on the new pro deal. How happy are you to have signed it? No, I'm buzzing to, to commit um, another couple of years here. Um, it's been a good start for me, a good first year. Um, I feel like it's been successful in, in many ways. Uh, there's also room for, for a lot of improvement over the, the next period of time I'm here for, and I can't wait for it to get started. Of course, when you first joined, obviously, there was that hope of optimism getting in the first team, and now here we are towards the end of the first season. And to be fair to say, you've had enough appearances, and you've also scored a few goals along the way as well. Yeah, I think I've played 20, 20 games now. Um, obviously, chipped in with a few goals. Not as many as, obviously, I'd like, but... Um, that's ultimately down to, to my hard work and then the faith that, that both managers over the season have put into me to, to give me the opportunity to play and go and show the fans what I can do. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Obviously, how important has that trust been in you? Obviously, you came in at the start of the season, started against Chesterfield the first game of the season with Danny and obviously Mark's continued to give you that trust and it must be great for you as a young player. Yeah, for sure. You know, the, the first game of the season was a surprise. I didn't expect to start. Um, and then I took that in my stride. And then since the gaffer's come in now, he's given me full faith. You know, he works with me every day, um, lets me believe in, in the ability I have. And, and I'm thankful for him and hopefully that can continue. How important is it to have your uh, future committed for us for a little while? Obviously, you've got the chance here now to settle down, play your football and do the best you can for Oldshot Town. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, some players might um, fear the end of the season. Um, contract uncertainty and things but now I can um, play the last 14 games with with almost a bit of freedom and hopefully get some more goals more assists and, and push up, up to up the league to get towards safety. You touched on it with Alfie Saunders before as well obviously with the BBC but how have you found the fans and everything and playing in front of a crowd for the first time? Yeah I love it um, I like to think I'm, a, I'm an entertaining player so hopefully they enjoy watching me play as much as I enjoy playing in front of them and um, yeah like me and Alfie do love playing in front of their fans. Uh, we embrace it and, and it is a lot better playing without fans. Um, when they sing your name, when they cheer, when you score, you know, you get a different feeling and, and I can't wait for more of that. Because of course, for you know, obviously attacking players, you say you've chipped in with a few important goals along the way as well. Is there a particular moment to you that stands out? Um, Dover was my first goal and the first win under the new manager. Um, Grimsby was obviously a big win for us. That set us on a run, um, an important run for us to get us up the league. And arguably my best goal was Barnet, but obviously it didn't come in a win. But hopefully there's more moments like that in winning these situations. So we touched on Alfie there. Obviously you've both committed long term now to the club. How much of an influence and how big is it to have him with you as well? Yeah, it's massive. We spend probably every minute of every day together based on we travel in every morning together. We go home every day together. Um, so yeah, he's a he's a great a great mate here, um, and it's good we've both signed and both can kick on and uh, improve our careers starting from now. You mentioned the run against Grimsby, obviously we're on a difficult run at the minute, but it's important we look to get back to winning ways against Kings in a few weeks. Yeah, for sure, that's massively important. Um, I can't wait for the game. Hopefully we we go out there, put on a good performance for the fans, an exciting performance. Uh, I feel like we need goals. Um, we need a high scoring scoring game without conceding any. And hopefully that's, uh, that's how it goes. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shot.